In today's French lesson, you're going to learn how to use the gerundive, the what? The ing when you have like a word like ending and that ing at the end in French. Salut tout le monde, je m'appelle Rachel Demio, your native French instructor from Belter Academy. So basically, we rarely use the ing ending in French, unlike in English. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm going to skip the multiple reasons why we rarely use ing in French, which I actually detail in my two textbooks of over 450 pages available on Amazon, also linked below, and I'm going to just teach you what we use instead. So basically, there's two ways that you can replace the ing in French. The first way is simply by using a noun instead of the gerundive. The gerundive is that like ing form, which I might be mispronouncing in English for all I know. Anyway, so you may just replace it with a noun. I'm going to provide you with an example, of course, or you may just replace it with a verb. So here's an example. I might be writing the word learning like um, the key to learning a language, let's say I'm writing something about that in an article, well, I might replace the word learning if I was translating to French with the verb apprendre, to learn, or the noun apprentissage. Actually, recently in a newsletter I was writing, I wrote, how are you learning the language? So if I was going to translate that in French, what would you say? You can comment below if you'd want to give me your answer and pause the video ahead of time, or I can tell you. I would probably say, comment apprenez-vous la langue? And here I have the verb conjugated, as you can see. However, I might not necessarily conjugate it depending on the structure of the sentence when I'm using it. But maybe you're wondering, what's the actual translation of ing, the ing at the end, in French? Because you just want to know. Well, I'm going to tell you. Before I do so, go ahead, click that subscribe button so that you can be notified of the next upcoming free French lesson. So in French, the ing, the ing at the end, is actually a-n-t, en, the gerondif. So when do we use it? We might use it in a sentence such as, En apprenant une langue, notre cerveau fait certaines connexions uniques. Which translates into, by learning a language, our brain makes unique connections. So you might notice a couple things. There's only two things I'm really going to point out. First of all, when you have that en at the end, before it, so you always have en, en, which pretty much means during. So before you have that gerundive, Preceding the gerundive, you're going to have that en, meaning during. You can also replace it in French, if you're not sure, with pendant. It is used as a complément circonstanciel, which is like a circumstantial preposition, so to speak. So basically, we're saying that while something is happening, while we're doing something, so while you're using the gerundive, the en, and then the ing, which is the a and t, en, in French. En and en, that's easy to remember, that's a good way to remember. All in all. <laughs> but um, we use it to say while something is happening, why something is occurring, why something is being done, then this is going on. So we'll use it and then continue our sentence to say whatever we have to say. So no, it's not the main verb, it's part of the sentence, so to speak. I hope that makes sense to you. If not, let me know. But bottom line, like let's say if I'm saying, hey, I'm coming. So what is that? It's just an action. So since I know it's an action, I wouldn't necessarily be needing to use a noun, person, place, or thing, then I could just say, j'arrive, j'arrive. I'm coming in English is often like in a present tense. And if it's not something that you're doing while you're doing something else, or so if it's just a one clause sentence like that one, and you're not saying, while this happened, and you wouldn't use that word while in your mind, then you won't be needing the gerondif, the gerundive. <laughs> so just remember that for French, the ing, very rarely used, can usually be replaced by a verb that's conjugated, sometimes a verb that's not conjugated, or a noun, depending on the sentence and what you're trying to convey. Rarely you will use it, the ing, to signify while this is going on, boom, then I'm going to be using that. So what did you think? Second comment below on a grammar rule that may be a little tricky in French that you would like to have explained in simple terms. Un petit like pour la vidéo? A vendredi! Merci les amis!